Dun, dun. I did some like boogie boarding there, or body boarding, which was really fun. The waves were huge, and they were totally jam packed with people. But I was having fun, like being in there with millions of other people, and riding the waves with my body um, on these crowded beaches. And um, and the subway system was really it was really good. I could just take the subway right down there, and it wasn't too expensive. And um, I met this uh, uh, um, American guy, older American guy, who's like 60 or something, who I guess used to work for the FBI, but he decided to become an English teacher working for himself in Rio. And he told me of a really good uh, hotel to stay in in Rio in the downtown area, right at the base of these really famous steps. And if you ever go there, that's the place you want to go because it's the cheapest and it's the best location. Um, these really famous steps that are all colored. Every color is a different color and they go at the bottom. But, um, and I guess he told me that that's where all of the, or right at the top of the stairs, that's like where the flavella started and that's where all the, like, the muggers and stuff lived. And he said the week before I had gotten there, there was a dead body. There was some guy who had been killed who was there, like right at the base of the steps. But it was a cool place to stay because every every Friday night they have these big parties, these outdoor parties, right in front of it. Um, and uh, so I hung out with him for a couple of days, and he wanted to take me. He had this fun thing that he did, where you like climb to the top of that stone thing that the gondola goes to. But it, was, it sounded like it was like an almost sheer cliff, so it was like crazy. And, I was like, I don't think so. I'm kind of getting ready to go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just kind of hung out there. saw all the stuff, all the, all the, like, the museums and the scenes and stuff. I went to a uh, jazz bar one night, actually, when I first got there. And I met some kid who I actually went to junior high with. And we went there with him and his French friend. And we watched the jazz people play. It was really good. And then I was hanging out with one of the jazz performers. And I was like, yeah, you know, I can get some weed. And he actually hooked me up. I went to his apartment and uh, hooked me up with a big old bag of weed. So I was stoned off my ass the whole time I was in Rio. You know, just as I was the whole time I was in Buenos Aires. <laughs> and he wanted to hang out with me for uh, Carnival, but for some reason I didn't call him. Um... I did take the, uh, what's it called, the, the little subway thing, the little cable car, all the way to the top of where the Jesus Christ is. It's this huge statue that's like, I don't know how high it is, a couple hundred feet high, really big, holding his arms out like this that you can see and from a long ways away. Only problem is um, there was, uh, it was on a really uh, foggy day that I went up there and I could only see parts of the downtown. I couldn't see all around. And I didn't go up there again. I should have bought a bicycle, just like a really cheap street bike, um, and ridden my bike up there because there was a there was like a road that you could go up there on a car. I could have ridden my bike all over the place. Um, I, I took the a little cable car up past an interesting like kind of like Bohemian artist center place. It was right above where the downtown area is, and I walked into the Flavella. And I was going to, like, walk all over the Flavella. Um, and I, I actually walked in a little bit of it and looked really basic. Like, like you know, the main streets through the neighborhood are just, like, six feet wide, totally unpaved dirt paths. And just these houses built out of, like, cardboard and toothpicks, you know. And you could see the Flavellas up on the sides of the hills, like, built really, really high. From right next to, like, the downtown area. And it would have been cool to, ooh, 420. Would have been really cool to uh, do the tour. I guess they had paid tours. I should have done that. But yeah, I ended up not walking like really far in because I was like, oh man, I don't want to get like jumped or anything. So uh, yeah, I came. What else did I do? Um, and then I bumped into my French friend who I uh, did the boat tour with down in Patagonia in Chile before. And hung out with him for a few days also in Buenos Aires. And uh, we went down to the beach one day. And then there was this, like, disco there. And, 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 and 
what is it, Copacabana Beach. There's this disco there, I can't remember what it's called, but you go in and it's loaded with prostitutes dancing. But they're all really hot, really young, really hot, and they're all dressed really sexy, like in their own theme. <laughs> like there are these two girls dressed like Catholic schoolgirls who this old, like 60 year old German guy was with. And my French friend, who's like really like outgoing and like he's like a player type of a guy, was talking to one of them and the German guy got really pissed off at him and was like, you're messing with my girlfriend, she's my girlfriend. <laughs> but he ended up cooling down and I guess kind of becoming friends with us after that, but uh, it's funny. But like these girls would like, they'd come up and they'd dance right in front of you and then you want you to buy them a beer and then like another beer and I guess if you don't buy them, if you buy them one beer, I guess it, then you have to buy them another beer right after and if you don't, they'll just get somebody else to buy them a beer and then I guess they want to take you home afterwards. But um, And I talked to some uh, tourists there are other American tourists and like like one guy he was mugged right on the beach uh, in front of everybody so I guess I got lucky that I didn't get mugged and some other guy was actually drugged he went back and was hanging out in his hotel room with some Brazilian guys and next thing he know and I guess they made him a tea and, and he was drank it and next thing he knows he wakes up from like a comatose state and he had like all of his money and everything was gone and so you have to be careful there and yeah, I did take a taxi back one night and I gave the guy, you know, money and he didn't give me his, he didn't want to give me change. So you definitely want to be careful. But, uh, um, yeah, that disco was definitely an interesting place. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I was kind of wandering around basically over there. Then the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The carnival happened. That was interesting. They just have, down on Copacabana Beach, all the way down to Ipanema Beach, they have these huge parades of people. Um, Jam-packed, just walking down. There's lots of different floats, and on the floats you have all these people dancing, and, like, women dressed up and well everybody's seen the pictures of carnival and um but yeah brazilians are really kind of laid back like people would just be peeing right there on the side of the road and not really nope, you know worry about getting busted um i got pickpocketed though like you wouldn't believe like i bought a little rainbow hat and put it in my back pocket and then I went to get it 30 seconds later and it was already gone. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I, you know, I wasn't stupid. I, I, I had my money on my money belt, but I still got pickpocketed with cash I had in my pocket. It was just, um, but then I got a, there was, yeah, the place I was at was really cool because all throughout a uh, carnival right in downtown area, they had these outdoor, uh, outdoor uh, concerts and all night long until the morning they just had different band after different band playing right there it's really cool and uh, yeah and it's man Brazil is definitely also a great place if you want to <laughs> if you want to be like a chick magnet <laughs> I was on the beach one day and and uh, there was this uh, really cute black girl and I just like looked at her I was kind of looking at her and then she like noticed so then she said her like motion to her friend who was this hot Latin girl who just ran right up to me and sat in my lap and started making out with me and uh, she wanted and then she's like where's your hotel let's go to your hotel and I, and I said I said something like she oh yeah no no she wanted to go do something and meet me in six o'clock but I thought six o'clock was in like two hours, so I was like, ah, oh, no. But I realized that it was in ten minutes, <laughs> so kind of blew that one. But uh, but then I had this other like really hot Latin girlfriend who I met, 
on the party that was right in front of my hotel room. And my, uh, but yeah, anyways, um, yeah, that's what, that's, I mean, I also experienced that kind of a thing in my Salvador. Like, all you do is, like, look at these girls, especially these black girls, and then they just, like, run right up to you and they ask you where your hotel room is. But, uh, anyways, whoops, I'm on the time.